Well, I don't know if you can see these really well or not, but it looks like we're going to have one of those massive walnut years again, which means we're probably going to have a pretty long winter, if not a cold one. They're just thick all over this tree. And this is the big tree too, so I'll have several bushels of walnuts off of it again, no doubt. But it's been really kind of weird. We've, uh, bear with me while I walk over here. I've uh, harvested all my summer apples off the summer tree. Which, pick my way through this. These are my summer apple trees. They're, uh, they're pretty much all come out. Now there's just like some old withered ones up there that, and you see that, you know, the leaves are turning yellow. But check this out. I'm sure this happens in nature sometimes, but you see what I'm looking at here? That's a bloom. It's like trying to make apples. That's an apple blossom. Incredible, huh? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. We've had such weird weather this summer. Just weird. Really late, late spring and summer. Just barely starting to get tomatoes. Check out the size of these. These are huge. These are my brandy wines. And they're just, they're a gorgeous big tomato. I mean, I have big hands. And anyway, I set them out here on my drying racks. And, uh, oh, that's an apple. <laughs> this is one of the summer apples that I picked up to save it from the sheep. Me, Shaki. This is my cat. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Look at me. No? Okay. But anyway, I just thought it was terribly bizarre that the apple tree is blossoming at this time of year. Anyway, that's it. I better get back to picking more stuff out of the garden.